My name is Daniel Mburo. I work for Mr. Green Africa. At Mr. Green Africa, uh, I work as the head of business development. Uh, so we look for markets for our, our material, both locally and internationally. Uh, Mr. Green does uh, plastic recycling. We are able to close the loop. What we do, we are able to pick material from uh, out in different places, be they uh, dump sites or even estates. Uh, we are able to collect material even from uh, consumers. We have a partnership with Total where you're able to bring your material to a Total petrol station and you, we actually buy the plastic from you. So we are able to take the material, uh, we will separate it into the different categories. So we'll put the HDPs together, the PPs together and the PET bottles together and we're able to then uh, process them. The process that we do is uh, we are able to wash them, uh, flick them and then wash them and then now we're able to either pelletize them depending on the, on the needs for the customer and then we're able to then now push that to customers. We have uh, two different kinds of end products. These are flakes, flakes and then also pellets. Okay, so some people are able to use flakes. So for the PET, like your water bottles, they are able to actually use the flakes without a problem. But for the other plastic, it is easier to use them when they're in pellet form. When they're in pellet form, and uh, the reason actually we have a, a Erema with us is because we get the machinery that does the pelletizing from Erema. And when that machine, uh, we use that machine, we're able to get pellets and we're able to add value to what we call waste plastic by now making it uh, compatible with the, for the people who are using it, reusing it again, and so we close the loop. Currently we have a, currently we have a machinery that uh, is able to process 6,000 tons a year, but now we are uh, investing, uh, this year we're actually investing in two more lines, so we're going to be able to invest in uh, machines that are able to have a throughput of 20,000 tons. So we're basically growing three times this year because we're moving from uh, 6,000 6, tons to 20,000 tons a year. Uh, we have been able to with recycle, Mr. Green is turning 10 years this year, and we have been able to recycle close to uh, 50,000 metric tons of plastic, which is humongous. So we have a staff of about uh, 400 who are dependent on us directly. But beyond that, we have a, on our database about 5,000 waste pickers, and of them, about 3,000 are active, meaning that they bring our plastic to us every other day, if not daily. So we have about 3,000 people who depend on us for their sustenance, uh, and they're not employed by Mr. Green, but they are our partners. But uh, in terms of um, our operation, we have about 400 people who are on full-time employment. We have waste pickers who pick waste from uh, different places. Some of them pick from dump sites. Others, they walk around the roads and pick from estates, uh, you know, just to intervene the plastic before it becomes, it moves into the, into the value chain. But so we have people who pick the material from different places throughout. So we, are, we have several approaches. Number one, as I said, mentioned, uh, in Nairobi, Total petrol stations are in partnership with us. So what they do is that uh, you as an individual, you can collect your plastic from the house and you're able to take it to a Total petrol station and when you take it to a Total petrol station, they actually, we actually give you green points, which you're able to redeem within the Total petrol station for, not for fuel, but for, uh, in the shop for credit or for unga, whatever it is, you're able to do that. So we are closing the loop by making sure that consumers have a way of actually disposing their plastic. Okay? Um, but also one of the things that we've been pushing for, for, for in, the, in the estates is a segregation of waste from source. So you have more than one uh, waste uh, bin. So you have your bin for plastic, you have your bin for organics, manure, and you have your bins for other materials. So then, when the vehicle that is coming to pick the uh, plastic is coming, it's able to segregate that plastic that way. And for us, it's able to reach to us cleaner. And for us, it's able to be able to add value to it faster. When plastic comes to us and it is very dirty, it takes a longer time for us to clean it than it does if it is clean. So we are able to get more value and create the value faster if the plastic is cleaner. Actually be useful. When it is, we reduce the amount of plastic that you use, we reuse the, reuse the, kind of, reuse, uh, the plastic and uh, recycle the plastic. So we are in the end where we recycle. So there's reduce, reuse and recycle. So we are in that space. But secondly, to also create uh, awareness to people because not everyone knows that actually you can actually put take your material, your plastic in the house
to a place where it's going to be bought back for recycling purposes. Uh, we are, we are invest, we're investing in this capacity because we have seen the amount of plastic that is in Nairobi that can be recycled. Currently, all the plastic that we currently process, we sell all of it. And not all our customers are extremely happy with us because we don't fulfill all their orders. So there's a huge need, there's a huge market for recycled plastic. We're also exporting some of the flakes uh, because we first satisfy the local market and then now we export. So we're also um, uh, bringing in Forex just by being able to export uh, waste plastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.